Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day, and we're going to look at True Grit open season and a bunch of great tactics for you to get Life Rip 6 with your Knessa. This is the Paladin's Build Showcase. Every week, I break down my favorite build that I've been playing that week and showcase it in a gameplay. If you like this stuff, please let me know. Leave a like. Comment below who you want to see next week, who you want me to experiment with. This week is going to be nuts. We've got a lot of great videos coming out, but today it's about this Life Rip 6 Knessa and Life Rip 3 Knessa in your deck. True Grit. It's a card I don't see a lot of people play. I've synergized my whole loadout around it, and it's awesome because it gives you 375 life every time you shoot somebody with a fully charged shot. If you have a 1,200 fully charged shot, that's basically 400 damage. That's 30% at the gate that you're healing up from the amount of damage you're doing. That is Life Rip 3 for free, fam, in your kit. I have not seen a lot of people play this card, and it is really, really fun. A lot of other things Knessa players go for. We got some quick scope. We got some open season, which I think is one of my favorite cards. Now, you see that reveal? Every time I hit somebody for three seconds, I am going to see where they go. And that is so big as a sniper, getting that first shot and being able to then compete with them by getting that kind of poke battle in your favor. That victor... I know exactly where his movement's going, and I know this right side's going to be clear, so I try to transport down, looking for something here, uh, but not able to find it. Hopefully, everybody's doing all, all right today. Again, covering some, some more fun stuff, and that's what I like to bring to the channel with you guys. Just fun stuff, great gameplay. Obviously, a lot of... Uh a lot of interesting things you can do for yourself. This bear, uh-oh, Duck Spoon sees me coming. That's the 1560 from the Steady Aim. Missed that shot, unfortunately. Looks like uh, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Had to reload. And the aggressive Barrack Flank. I mean, of all things to surprise me, that, that shouldn't have been it. I mean, you know, of course, when you see Barrack on a battlefield, he's going to just be flanking you and you're Genos. D duh, duh. All right, so anyways, that's a little surprising. I think Duck Spoon knows. I might be a threat. Seen him many times before. Master's Player. And uh, we do get the objective because Barrack is flanking us. Uh, again, nice headshot there. Duck Spoon trying to get away, but I clean him up. Hit him with the Moji spray. Post OB64. And let him know exactly where I'm at. Nice 1560 as well. That's the burst from Steady Aim. It's a 1200 shot at base. But if you hit a shot within 7 seconds of hitting another fully charged shot. That's what this legendary choice does. Uh, you get to basically get that beautiful, beautiful damage bump. That wasn't fully charged. But it's enough to take down Valen there. And we are just steamrolling. We've got a couple kills already. <laughs> that first round was nothing in compared to this. Looking to miss. The Genos doing some crazy jukes there. And I'm getting a little low. So I kind of want to back off Genos giving me some beautiful, beautiful heals. And I'm just spotting them out with those oppressor mines. Great to throw those just for information. I know the Duxman is there. You can see where people are based on the damage numbers behind walls. I also have open season, so I know exactly where he is. And you guys, hopefully, you're already seeing how valuable it is to have this. Most people have this card at level 1 or level 2, but running it at level 3 is actually really valuable. Nice flick shot there on the Valen, and now things have gotten dangerous. Grok trying to escape. Pops to the dome. Steady aim, my friend. Steady aim again. Victor, where are you going, buddy? Silence him out in the corner, and that's a another headshot on the Barrack. This is not looking good. Oh my gosh, what damage that we are putting out with this one. And guys, I'm, I'm telling you, this has been my favorite thing to do this week grab some Knessa play this build and just have a blast one of the other things that's so good about true grit and why I think it might be underutilized as well as open season is a obviously those those first hits right seeing where someone's coming with open season being able to reveal them for three seconds that's a big deal we know exactly where they're going and we don't have to worry about a flank if it's not coming if Mochi disappears to the left side right I don't know where she is she activates that barrier I've got headhunter though and there it is one big shot for 2160 and we finish her off oh my god the counterplay the immediate ultimate into the shot might have even been a headshot or just a, a steady aim burst shot. Whatever it was, it hit for about 2160, and then we clean her up with the carbine. Now Duck Spoon again doing his flank thing, but I don't know if he's going to be able to get me. Got some restore. Going to heal up. He's chasing me, but now the presser mine doing more damage than he expected. Has to fall back. Moji again trying to find some more. I hit the carbine. Yet again, she may be going left or right. The reveal is falling off from open season. Checking both my channels, and there she is. Hit her with a pop shot, and that's one more to the dome. The Moji spray from OB64 doesn't come out quite yet. We still got business to do. Nice ghost walk from Grok. He's going to stay alive for that. We got three seconds left. Time has has been wasted so we've got to make up for it here with some clutch shots hit a nice headshot onto grok as well victor up into the air we're going to clean him up unstoppable for me low dude 472 falls and here's duck spoon again with the flanks but we've got victor with us the oppressor mines he's going to have to travel away but those rocket boots cannot rocket him far enough and as you can see this moji's just not having the best day we finish her off one nice shot there actually with 1200 doesn't quite kill her but it does put us in position to finish her off there's the grok 
And again, you see, oh my god, low dude comes in with some beautiful timed execution, the, the grenade, and then just following up with all that damage, it's just insane. Uh, and I'm so excited for you guys to see OB68 as well coming out. There's so many good things, and again, in my last video, I kind of spoiled it. There are so many good things, but there are some things that you're going to be surprised at. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not telling you what the surprise is going to feel like, what it's going to look like. I'm going to say, you know, don't, don't believe everything that you see. Yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's move into the next one. But again, talking about these cards, again, you can see how good it's going. I want to shout out Almageddon as well. He's a cool barrack. I've seen him. He's been top damage barrack in every game I've played with him and uh, done a very good job. He runs hair trigger, so maybe I got to check out hair trigger for barrack. I know that will trigger pretty hair somewhere in the world, and uh, I know he's definitely looking to uh, not have any barrack in his life that he doesn't need to. The most important thing, though, about this build with True Grit is 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 poking, right? When you're in, when you're in the sniper battle, and you're versus Strix, or you're versus somebody who's fighting you from range, even Cassie or Shaolin, one of the hardest things to do is to be a sniper, shoot them, and then know exactly when they're going to peek again, which is what open season for three seconds helps. They can't they can't sit there for four seconds and not do anything. Otherwise, you've already done your job in the fight, and they're not participating. The other thing is, with True Grit, you can just, you don't have to leave combat to get that healing. Just hitting a shot gives you the healing back, and you can see that's one of the things that heart starts to hurt. Unless you have a pocket healer, you're usually going to lose those battles, and I'm just seeing maybe on the left side, it looks like Duck Spoon's going to float. You see my kind of cautious style of, of looking and trying to get information before I actually position myself too aggressively, and you can see there's the headhunter. I know Moji's in trouble. We drop down. There's the magic barrier as well. Can't quite clean her up, but it is a good enough shot, and again, Geno Stuke's so hard for me to freaking master of finding the answer to that seller win just gives him so much more movement speed grok getting around the corner as well that ghost walk has done well for him to give him a couple of other lives but this victor not sure how long he's gonna survive headshot from low dude that was some payback from last round here's grok midair double kill for him another headshot just to seal the deal not that we needed it there and now we can start rotating very aggressive team i love my squad here we're just ready to go we get a couple kills we're like all right let's move out let's keep zoning so good almost hit genos there as well headshot on emoji behind the rock oh my goodness we are firing today on all cylinders i am loving it and again you guys can see right here i'm poking but i'm staying at about that 1800 health i'm in the fight uh, but victor he has to run away why is that ducks he's got to go ahead and retreat why is that why am i at the same amount of health i've hit all that damage i'm just healing up and so they've got to retreat i could stay in these fights i don't need a pocket healer although now i do have one from genos and that's the beauty of true grit i don't know if it's going to be something that people start saying hey i've got to run this in my build but i think there is some merit to it especially if you're running steady aim um because it just synergizes so well with fully charging your shots that's the only way you get it you can't half charge it uh, and it just synergizes so well with what snipers have to do and, and the situations they have to fight in which is kind of poking out having to stay in these fights and now we have a chance to find duck spoon early so that it's a barrack gone they still that got the grok Let's see what we can find here thanks a lot for watching guys as well hopefully you're liking these build showcases um i'm still uh, kind of uh you know figuring out how, how the flavor is on this. I think the Pip one people really liked. Uh, the Mischief Pip, you can check that one out before. But I also, uh, you know, just curious what, what your guys' flavors are on this. See the Barrett trying to get around. So you guys can answer that question in the comments while well, we have to keep on playing here. Oh, my God. Transporter fail. Didn't quite get up where I wanted to go. And now, oh, wow, Grok. Okay. Tell me how you really feel. Dog Og O. Dog Og O W. Wow. I, I, don't, I think I know what that means, and I don't like it. I don't know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We, we, we love all games here. We love all games here at Rain Day Gaming. It's Rain Day Gaming, not Rain Day, you know, Paladins. You know what I mean? Even though I love Paladins as well. You know, so anyways, we're having a blast. I've had a very cool kind of realization from myself as well heading into this game and this next rank season, which is coming out in Nobi 68. One of the things I'm really excited about uh, is actually the fact that you are really, really going to see me take, I think, Paladins to another level of... of seriousness so to speak of, of just effort because i figure i mean i play so much balance right and I, and I got to master um it was definitely took some time but i mean i considering the length of the season i got to master like within the first 15 percent or 20 percent of the season right and try to finish off this victor here there 20 seconds left still so hard to kind of get this final push i don't know why they somehow hold like freaking masters over here gonna get aggressive it's not what they're expecting going in on to the victor miss a couple of carbine shots just trying to life steal up as well Hiding behind this bridge. They don't quite see me. Can we grab one? That's the victor. Just need one more. Genos would probably be the next priority. I got to get out of here. Those turrets are doing a lot of damage. Now it's overtime again. I mean, they've just found so much time. But if I can get this Genos, things will be good. Oh, my God. Want to buy aim, please? Thank you very much. Finally get Genos. 
And now this Grok is looking like he's in trouble. This is the kind of stagger we need. Both healers down for another 6 to 12 seconds. And now it's Barrack by himself. He's got his own semi-healing, but... We're not going to focus on him too much. Want to get up here. Maybe focus out this Victor. Focus out this Moji. Get him off the high ground. And there it is. He's already gone. Get a better angle onto Duckspoon as well. Who is just firing away. Revealed because of, uh, it seems like possibly, I don't know. Who was revealing me? I don't know. This, I'm, I'm, can't think. I don't, can't think. I don't know why I was revealed. Anyways, I was. Grok, beautiful Tempest right there. And I love it. And I uh, finished him off right there as well. Dogog. You know what? This might just be the end for you, buddy. Duckspoon gets lifted up into the air. Another shot to the dome. Hit the Moji spray. And Moji coming out. I don't know if you want none of this. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Mm, my body's too bootylicious. And it's, it's, it's too ready with this carbine. So anyways, what I was saying... As you guys can see, super fun build. Hopefully you guys try it. Let me know if you do. Um, if you like it, let me know as well. And and if you're if you you have some suggestions, I'm always open to that as a community, as a team. Rainstorm, raindrops, we make things happen. We are a movement. You know, one drop of rain may be insignificant, but when you put it all together, it can it can move worlds. It can change ecosystems. It can it can disintegrate rock. Right, that's the beauty of, of of a collective of raindrops and not just one. Right, so that's what we're all about here. But I'm really excited to move forward and actually progress myself as an individual and in, in, in first person shooters. I actually asked a question. I might be doing a top five on this. Who are the best first person shooter champions to play in Paladins? If you want to just get better with your aim, as we finish off Genos right there, who are the ones that you want to be practicing? And you know what? To me, it's like I want to become a, an excellent gamer in first person shooters why not why not right i play so much of them why not try to instead of hitting masters go for grandmaster right there's really actually no reason why not and that should always be a goal find that goal that you want and then have that stretch goal as well and be able to do it and i think it's actually um you know something that if i work towards is very possible and so i hope uh you know i hope to be able to cover some of that stuff as well again got to get back to master that's the, that's the first step when season two comes online but what are your guys' goals for ranked what are you guys looking to do i mean i'm lebron so you know you could get anywhere all it's all it's about is dominating where you're at as we get taken down here by valian and so they actually have a chance they just finished me our barracks by himself this may not be as easy as i was thinking i kind of thought we were walked in the park here uh-oh things might have turned and i don't quite yet have my life rips as well. All right, so here's here's the thing. We're looking for it. Finishing Grok off. One more shot. Oh, this Ghost Walk hits him into the corner, so this is not good. 70% on the objective. We've got a touch. Barrack is there. He gets low. Actually, Duckspoon finishes him off. 85%. Now, somebody's got to get there. I don't think anybody's on the point. Finally finish off the Grok, but no one's there to contest. I mean, I maybe it was me. Maybe it was me who had to do it. I don't know, but we actually are on the defense now, so this is... uh. Not what we wanted. Valian takes me down, and now we are staring at our first uh, point loss in the game. Okay, all right. So it just made things a little interesting. Viewers are like, all right, all right, let me get some popcorn. Let me get another glass of water. You know, let me get some Coke. You know what I'm saying? Coke, you can, you can sponsor me if you want. You know, you guys, you, you don't you don't want to? Okay, all right. Well, I'll, I'll talk to Pepsi then. All right, screw you. Anyways, minute and 55 seconds left. We've got time, and we just got to bite it right now. They don't really have a way to do with my range. That's one of the best things about... You know, Knesset, when you get a good matchup, right? I just have so much more range than them. They don't have any real good flank. Moji, very good, but there's a lot of open spaces. And I can see her coming. This Moji's not tactically not equipped to deal with me like she would be on a Bright Marsh. And and really, it's really just about the fact that she does not have high ground mobility like I do. I can not only escape from her, I can escape from her in, you know, basically uh, third dimension, which is going up instead of just sideways, left and right. So that's the big thing for her. You see, I know exactly where this victory is and look at this look at this boom headshot right there and that's open season three guys that is a kill directly related to my cards if you do not understand the value of open season i want to preach it again and again and again you're going to say yeah i'm the best player i don't need it i can put something else in my card in my, in my load i can add some extra points sure whatever i just find it so valuable reveal cards if as a sniper as a person who does high level damage initially i just find that so important we know the victor's coming i missed that shot so i can't quite tag him there it is Look, I just got three seconds. He knows. He's got to wait it out. He's got to wait it out. That's four seconds, That five seconds now that he's got nothing that he's done for his team. And that's just, that's already a win. That's already a win for me. You press your mind just to try and clean it out. There's the Genos as well. Big shot, headshot with steady aim. 2160, my boy. We finish him off. And we're ready to throw this down as well. Press your minds just to, again, hide in the corners. 
see exactly where people might be rotating always keep your eyes open don't just stay in that lens again you see generals try to catch me one of those times spoon for one we see the reveal so we know exactly when he's rocket bootsing we know exactly where he's moving uh, it's just so good to be able to put him in a bad spot uses all of his cool masking pressured though doing definitely a bit of damage there's the Genos, oh, 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 taken down, and that is not what he wanted. I will tell you that, my friend. Seems like they've only got a second left. Will they try to trigger the overtime? Looks like, oh, yeah, he will. And there's the Tempest as well, trying to keep him healthy. Got to get this Grok down. Oh, what a barrage. Oh, no, we're getting taken down, and that's low, dude. 472, finding the clutch kill. Is this a double? Double gets out. Oh, my God, that was kind of snap Amy there. He knew exactly where I was going. That was pretty impressive from him. Still don't know if they'll be able to get much off of this overtime. Going to take the high ground again because that's where they can't reach. And I've still got a pretty good angle onto anybody who wants to be around. And that's defense successful. Nothing there. Again, remember, like I said, definitely take away, you know, the horse blinders. Don't just look down your scope. And here it is, life rip three, fam. We've actually got it. We are now 60% lifesteal, essentially, on Kinesa right now so this build it's 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 super fun man it's and we're our team is doing so well too we all have cauterized we're all like this is just it's just a solid solid team solid game like this is one I want to go in the record books and just be like you know this this was a good one this is one I, I always like watching I always want to you know go back to and remember so I'm glad it's up here you know on the channel being made I've been I've been so I almost didn't do this video by the way because I've just been locked in watching Dragon Ball Super, guys. I, I don't. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do like 60 episodes in a few days. I don't know. I'll tell you. I'll. I'll get. I'll give a process. Uh, process update after my next video to tell you guys where I'm at. But man, oh man, have I been stuck on my couch trying to make that happen? But I'm like, you know, I got. I got to get some good, good to the fellas, to the ladies and the fellas out here on Rainy Gaming. I know exactly where Moji is. There's really only run route, so we activate the Headhunter to immediately discourage that. She's in a bad spot. We're just gonna transport. Nice void grip sets it up easy. Oh, but there's Duck Spoon. I was wondering where he went. And he actually went there as well. So we find the Moji, but I give myself. A kill the duck spoon and he's just saying well I just, this is the unanswerable problem I don't have a way to kill Knessa and fight on the objective I'm the one who has to do it that's what I'll do when I'm a front line I'm like all right you guys can't get Knessa screw it I'm gonna go get her and he does problem is he's not on the point so we're 72 percent there's really not much they can do now I could sit back here and they can't contest me right because they've got to be on the point they cannot move anywhere else nice grenade and there's Moji as well this is what I'm talking about she just cannot contest there I know exactly where she might be going again just waiting one more time. Look at that healing. Did you guys just see the healing I just got off of that? Oh, boy. And now we're able to keep it topped off. We are ready to go exactly where we need to, which is on the point. Finishing with damage. Bursting down the barricade. Avoid grip as well. Seals the deal. Can't touch. And that's a victory for us today. So let me know what you guys think. Do we get the top? Oh, we get the top play. Knessa looking good with the cutthroat skin. One of the first, like, epic skins ever in Paladins. And it still rocks. This is that beautiful shot there on the emoji looking to find one more onto the support you know, just i don't know what he's doing just trying to pretend that he's a, a statue model there as well nice shot on the low dude once more and that'll do that'll do pig so that's the game that's the build let me know what you guys think in the comment section below again randy gaming it's all about bringing you the best the most fun the brightest the most entertaining the most just contagious gameplay and content so make sure you guys leave a like subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more stuff like this and comment down below what you guys are feeling with this build showcase this one specifically in the overall series and if you guys are looking forward to it next week thanks so much for watching my friends as always remember to never give up never stop gaming and i will see you all next time